Ladies and gents, did you know that Protectly released a nice new Vault Pro, the 2430? Check this out. See these? Cellular modem antennas. Now, before you go and say, Jason, you've reviewed lots of these units, let me explain. When Protectly reached out to me, I was like, do I really need another box? So I thought to myself, I'm gonna look at the specs. I saw on the front of it that it does sell you, and I thought, you know what? Nobody has these boxes. Well, not that they don't have the boxes, but nobody does sell your setup on these boxes. I've done a couple of these boxes, and I've put OpenSense on them, and it works great. It's fast, high throughput, it does what it needs to do, and a lot of people have watched that video and asked me questions because they just work. But I thought to myself, what happens if I ask Protectly to send me a cellular card that's capable with the SIM card that I have and put it into this box. Well, that's part two. And if you're liked and subscribed, you'll watch that part two is gonna be really, really good. Part one, I'm just gonna go over some specs to let you know what we have, what we're gonna work with, and let you know, yes, the cellular modem does work in it and it works really, 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 really good. I like it. So part one, as I said, will be just specs going over it because it is a new box. It has a lot of features and uh, yes, it is dead silent unless you put like a mechanical hard drive inside of it, but then it'll make noise. But not many people do that because it's got NVMe in it, right? This brand new Protectly VP2430 with the new Intel N150 quad core CPU, <laughs> that's a big one, boosts all the way up to 3.6 gigahertz in a small, tiny package fanless package that is. Did I mention that it's passively cool? No fans? My box is configured with a cellular modem card in it, 16 gigs of RAM. It does go up to 64, but on an OpenSense firewall with not many clients behind it, I didn't really need 64 gigs of RAM. That's just way too much for me. So I opted for just a single 16 gig stick, plenty, and the cellular card. I put in a 256 gig NVMe card, Tons of space, OpenSense doesn't really need much space, but I went for that because I wanted the um, space for uh, logging and all that stuff. And maybe, maybe we'll put some other features and softwares on there for that. There's a lot of IO in this box and there's a lot of nice new features. One thing I noticed right away when I took it out of the box is on the front, it's got the 12 volt barrel jack and it's screw on. So yeah, don't hang it by that. But I mean, sometimes you got it in a rack and you're pulling on cables and stuff like that and it's like, Oops, I pulled out the wrong cable. That would now eliminate that awesome, awesome feature. And I believe other manufacturers have done that. And it's good to see that they implemented that because I bet you some people wanted that um, request. So, yeah. Let's have a peek inside and talk about the quick specs. On the front or the back, whoever, whatever you want to call this, we have a power switch, reset button, COM port. No, that is not a USB-C port. Two USB-C 3.2 ports right here a HDMI on the top, display port on the bottom, and four USB 2.0 ports on the back right here. On the back of the unit, we have two caps for the Wi-Fi. Now this can be for Wi-Fi or cellular. As you can tell, I have two cellular antennas installed on the back, but they can be on the front or the back. Not too sure which people want to call front or the back here, but I'm gonna call this the back because that's where the power is. We have two LED lights right here. The bottom one is the green for power on. The top one is an orangish yellow, which means that we have activity for the hard drive. Right here we have four 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports that use the Intel i226-V interface chipset. Over here we have the micro SIM slot for cellular. Stay tuned because we're gonna show you how that works. And I believe this 12 volt input is new because we see a screw terminal on here now so we can put our power port plug on there screw it on there and it won't fall out <clears throat> that's happened many times to people on the right and left side they're identical we have two plugs for the wi-fi so we can use cellular here or we could use the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz um, sma connectors for hooking up antennas we have four screws that hold the bottom cover on and then we have our sticker with the serial number and what it takes for power. And then my serial number I covered up because it's mine. 
and we can see that it says VP2430. On the bottom, you can see that we got some thermal pads that touch some of the peripherals on the inside. Some nice, clean CNC work there. We can see that we have a memory slot right here. This is for DDR5. It's got a 4800 mega transfers card in there. It can go up to 64 gigs. This is just a 16 gig, plenty for the video. I installed a M.2 SSD in there for the um, OS to live off of. It's got a 32 gig um, EMMC storage module on board. I'm not too sure where it is on here, but it's in here somewhere. We can also see that it has a cellular card, which is a M.2 3052B key slot for the modem. And I believe this is the LTE version. You could put a 5G version in there. And up over here, right here, we have a M.2 2230-3052E key slot for a Wi-Fi card that goes in there. I'm gonna throw up a dedicated photo of inside in the unit with all the key connectors and ports. I won't go over to too many details, but I did notice a nice RS-232 COM port and a nice I2C header for those that need that. I don't want to go too, too far into the specs because the link below will be able to give you anything that you're looking for. And if you are curious of other things, that will be in that in there. I know what you're thinking. Simple video, simple specs, awesome device. Make sure you're liked and subscribed for number two video where I'm going to install OpenSense. Well, I'm not really going to install OpenSense and watch you guys, make you guys walk all through it. I'm going to do a pre-install and then I'm going to go over how to get stuff going. There's a couple things that I learned while using this device for enabling the cellular on the actual um, device. When you put it in there, there's a couple little things we have to tweak, but I'll go over that. Don't worry, it's not hard at all. It actually works really, really well. Um, when I got through everything beta testing and playing with it, it was actually simple and I just got it working. So subscribe, like, and um, you guys will probably want this box. I see a lot of guys not using the front um, slot where you can put a SIM card. And there's a lot of people out there that go out and buy external ones. This might make life a little bit simple. And all you have to do is add the little simple card inside of it and it just works. They do have a 4G LTE version and a 5G, but I only went for the 4G LTE because my SIM card is only capable of that. So hopefully you liked and subscribed, liked the video, and uh, we'll go from there. See you later. Thanks for watching.